a uh, very good afternoon to everyone the topic which i am going to present before you is the commercialization of patents patent is the monopoly right conferred on the inventor to exploit his invention for a limited period of time price for the grant of monopoly is the disclosure of invention at the patent office which after the fixed period of monopoly passes into the public domain it encourages the scientific researches new technologies and industrial progress basically the patent involves the patent process involves the four different stages the first stage is of the conception of an idea the second stage is of the making of that invention the third stage is of the obtaining the patent on that invention the fourth stage is the commercialization of patented invention for example if a person wants to invent a robot or a robotic machine uh, for the purpose of serving the medical equipments in the hospitals or for the purpose of serving the food in the restaurant that is just to uh, maintain the the social distancing in this era of covid-19 pandemic then first of all he will have an idea in his mind then at the second stage he will make the invention then at the third stage he will obtain the patent on that invention then at the fourth stage he, uh, he will commercially exploit the invention here i am talking about the fourth stage like the like the first three stage stages this stage is also very important commercialization is the process of introducing a new product or production method into the commerce that is making it available to the market it includes the production marketing sales etc with reference to patent it means full scale production of the patented invention the object of commercialization is basically twofold the first one is to enable the inventor to recover his fair share the second stage is to make available the benefit of the patented invention to the public the commercialization of patent is not only the right of patentee but also the obligation of patentee because the patent is granted not only to enjoy the monopoly but also for the dissemination of the technology commercialization of patent can be achieved in three different ways the first way is that he may exploit the invention himself or the second way is that he may make the assignment of his right and the third way is that he may grant the license for the same the first way is that he may exploit the invention himself in case of process patent he has a exclusive right to prevent the third person from using that process and also uh, from using offering for sale selling or importing the product directly obtained from that process if the person does not want to exploit the invention himself then he may make the assignment of his right assignment is a transfer of right and interest in the property assignment of patent invo involves the complete transfer of the ownership of the patented invention by virtue of contract as per section 68 of the indian patent act assignment must be in writing in a document containing all the terms and conditions governing the rights and obligation of the parties as per section 69 of the indian patent act 1970 assignment must be duly registered by the controller through proper assignment the assignee becomes entitled to commercially exploit the invention the third way is that he may make the license license is a permission to make use or exercise the patented invention which would otherwise be illegal to do so uh, ownership of uh, in a license the ownership remains with the patentee only the partial use is permitted permission may be limited in its uh, scope duration or the territory it may be granted for the term of patent or for the uh, limited duration of time uh, it may be restricted to the specific geographical uh, location the patent the patentee may charge the lump sum uh, lump sum payment or he may receive the royalties or periodic payment for the same uh license may be exclusive or it may be non exclusive if it is uh, uh, granted by uh, to one person then it is a exclusive license if it is granted to more than one person then it is a non exclusive license 
the license may be voluntarily licensed or non-voluntary license. If it is granted by the patent, patent holder himself, then it is the voluntary license. If it is granted by the controller of patent, then it is the compulsory or non-voluntary license. If after the expiry of three years from the date of grant of patent, the reasonable requirement of the public has not been satisfied or the patented invention is not available to the public at the reasonably affordable price or it is not working in India, then uh, the controller of the patent may grant the compulsory license on that. Even if after the expiry of two years from the date of grant of patent, the reasonable requirement of the public has not been satisfied or the patented invention is not available to the public at the reasonably affordable price or uh, the invention is not working in India, then patent is liable to be revoked. Thank you.